What's up Guitar Legends? We're looking at the Big Bang Theory theme music today. Um, it's not too tricky, it's very fun to play along to. Let's start with the beginning. Um, if you look at the tab, it's going to help you through this. We have this picking part to begin with. Just on the first two chords, right? So get the chord shape ready. We have C add 9 is our first chord. Alright, so if you get that shape ready, before we even try and pick anything, okay? And we're gonna pick from the A string, to the D string, G string, and then B string. So we just do it all downwards in order. All right? Now I like to pick upwards on the last one, because then we can move in the right direction for the next chord. Yeah, and the next chord is D major, right? So again, get the chord shape ready for this one. Get your D major chord ready. Pause the video if you need to. All right, this time we're gonna play the D string first, then the G string, then we'll come up on the B string, up on the G string again. A little arpeggio. All right, so all together. So you want to practice swapping from one chord to the other. All right, from C add nine to D. Boo do 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 do. Right, and then once that feels comfortable, add the right hand. Okay, then we have three chords. Alright, so let's look at the chords first. We have G, which I just play like this. Okay, I don't even bother with the first finger. I just have three fingers here. Second chord is D, but you want F sharp in the bass, so add your thumb to fret two of the E string. Because we want to get this movement, So G, D with F sharp in the bass, and then E minor, all right? Uh, you can play E minor with, with, with just two fingers, but it's quite nice to have this pinky here still, like we did on the G string. Yeah. You can choose whether or not you want to add the third finger to B3, third fret on the B string. Right, either is fine. I tend to have it off myself, all right. So that's the first half of this intro. We have. And you'll notice that this hand comes in on those last three chords. Every time I strum, okay, you can see the hand comes in just to keep them short, ba, ba, ba. Right, the last one can ring. So, you hear that? Strum in, strum in, strum. So make sure you're doing that as well. Yeah, and then we do the same thing again without E minor. Okay, so we just do G to D this second time. All right, and that is the slow part of the intro. All right, then it goes full speed. Okay, so for this part, for those of you that want to take your playing to the next level, make sure you sign up to my premium membership website. You'll gain access to all my backing tracks, all of my lessons, and I'll teach you how to improvise, solo, and play advanced chords. Enjoy the rest of your lesson, guys. I personally like to have my pinky on top, here on E3, and then I keep it there, except here, right? And you can just hear it, that it stays there the whole time. 
right, which is quite a nice way of doing things. Um, and I have regular C on top of that. So pause the video if you need to practice this shape first. We have C with G on top. All right, then we have D, which becomes D sus because we have the pinky still there, as I said. Then we go to G. And we do, we've already learned this in the intro. It's the same thing. Yeah? So again, C, D, G, D, E minor. All right? And then the second line is pretty much the same. C, D, G, E minor. So the second time, we just miss out the passing chord, right? We miss out that D with F sharp in the bass. We just go from G to E minor. Okay? Uh, then the second time, we have C again, D, G, D, E minor. And the fourth and final time, I play regular C without the pinky on top. Regular D, again, no pinky. And then we cut it off ready for a final G chord. Okay, so you can bring the hand in right at the end here. Okay, let's look at the rhythm, the right hand rhythm which is gonna bring this all together, okay, if you feel comfortable with the chord shapes. All right now, some of you may prefer to do the C add nine shape instead of this shape I've shown you. It still works really well. You can do that instead, C add nine, if you would rather than this C shape, okay. I think this one uh, sounds a little bit better, personally, but it really doesn't make much difference. So the right hand rhythm is really simple. We're just going to do continuous strumming. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Right, it's just alternating. Yep, so just try and do this slowly, like this speed. Ready, one, two, three, and play. Remember to bring the hand into the strings right at the end there to get that silent. And then G comes in. One, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So my biggest tip for the strumming here is just make everything a little bit soft and relaxed and only strum harder whenever you have a new chord, right? So I, if I exaggerate this, you'll see what I mean. You hear I emphasizing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right? because it actually is quite a fast song, so everything needs to be loose and relaxed, but you still want to emphasize the chord changes. All right, that is everything. There's not too much to learn. It's just quite hard to play this at full speed, so what I recommend, the play along is coming up so you can play with me, but click on the YouTube cog icon and you can change the playback speed to 0.75 and that is going to slow down the whole song for you and you can practice playing it slower first, which is definitely a good idea. All right. Um, if you found this lesson helpful, please give a like, thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to and hit that notification bell icon. All right. Good luck with the play along. I'll see you in the next video. One, two, one. Two, three.